What's going on, everyone? Juice Bags here, and welcome back to some Dungeon Defenders. We are playing through the campaign on Ruthless here. We want to get to those uh, key maps. I'm on the wrong hero. We want to get to those key maps to be able to farm up the new pets. So we want uh, Alk, Alk Labs, Throne Room, and the Summit. Uh, by unlocking those maps and doing them on survival, we're going to get access to those new pets. And we're going to want to collect a few of those up. So let's just go ahead and get things started here. Uh, this map, of course, Wave 1, I'll no doubt take uh, probably a little bit of core damage here. Uh, we're going to start off with just an R stack here. So we'll go, uh, you know, Ensnare, Electric, and a Strength Drain. And we'll just call it good there. Um, let's just hop on the old Monk here. And let's uh, see what we can do for mana collecting. Uh, we'll probably do two two different um, two different stacks. Maybe we'll, we'll do like a stack of LTs and a stack of DSTs. We are gonna have uh, we're gonna have some gin getting uppity. We're additionally gonna have some ogres right away. Uh, so we're gonna want to be conscious of that. Actually, got our ogres coming out right now already. Coming around this way. Let's go ahead and tower boost it out and see if we can't burn this guy down a little here. Or uh, hero boost it out even. We got those gin over there getting uppity as well. Uh, and we're taking a little damage already too. I'm not going to use my hero boost as I do want to go into the next wave with as much, uh, as, much mana as I can find. Uh, we're what? Halfway down here. No more ogres yet. I'm not sure if there's another ogre or not. There could be. Or there might not be. We will find out. We're taking uh, some more shots here. Got a bunch of randos up on the core. Uh, of course, once we get uh, through and can get some defenses built, should be kind of a not to, but let's do just that. So, uh... What are we going to do? Let's EV it up first. And I think I'm just going to plan for the two stacks. So let's see. We'll go what? Uh, am I even going to be able to? Do I have enough DU for two stacks? Uh, if we go with a buff beam there and uh, a buff beam over here, probably could achieve all this with one buff beam as well. And then we'll throw, uh, what, three DSTs in, and then a bunch of LTs as well. Let's see, so we'll go with, uh, what, a DST that way. We'll go with one this way, and we'll go with that way. Uh, that's going to leave me, what, 35. And uh, I'm not going to be able to put a ton there. But well, we can actually get five LTs. That's going to be pretty beast. Uh, absolutely certain that is going to steamroll in here. And then we'll just dump the rest of our mana into these buff beams. Uh, didn't bring along anything for Reflex. That's probably a mistake, but I think we'll be all right. We'll probably take uh, a little bit more incidental arrow damage, but as long as it's not enough to kill me then I'm not sweating it. Like I said, the goal of these, uh, they're going to be super easy, particularly right at the beginning. But the goal of these is, um, without a doubt, to just get to those survival maps. So it is fun going back and revisiting these maps, but I'm more excited to play them on survival. Uh, survival has always been a big part of the game for me. I've really, really enjoyed it. So definitely looking forward to adding uh, yet another... Uh, a few survival farms in. Now the loot scaling is a bit different now too. So we're going to be getting higher quality loot on uh, Ruthless Mode on these older campaign maps, which is just pretty darn awesome. Uh, let's just continue to let it fly here. We've only got a couple more waves. We should be able to get through this one relatively quick. And like I said, the early maps here are just going to be really easy. Um, it's just a matter of surviving wave one. If you survive wave one, then uh, you know, as long as I'm able to survive through the wave ones, we should have just no issue with uh, beating the maps. Uh, however, the difficulty will scale up, and I'm sure I'll have um, a few uh, reality checks 
as we get a little deeper into the campaign. But these uh, these first maps should be pretty much a breeze. Just get through it and get the job done. Uh, some folks were asking me about the weapon I'm using here in the last video. This is the Mischief, Mischief Maker from Polly. And I, I've got three different pole arms I use. Uh, I use the spear. I use the... Um, the honey spear as well but this one I use probably the most commonly uh, I normally use uh, I know there's better versions now but I normally use the ball blaster for straight power boosting uh, since I'm kind of having the DPS through these early waves as well I'm taking that route and using the mischief maker here on my tower booster but usually I would use like a ball blaster uh, there's also the chicken ballers which uh, I believe are gonna be a little bit better overall. But uh, the ball blaster is just, just what I've always used. Ever since I've gotten it, I have always used it. That one, of course, is an invent item. And there we go. So one more wave. I think we can just let this one fly here and not even, not even muck around and waste any time. Throw a couple of upgrades around. Let's just get uh, our final wave going here. And that'll get us through the next map. So we're getting close to Alk Labs. We've got, what, uh, one more map to do, and then we're at Alk Labs. So we'll be able to get that um, that first survival farm going uh, right away, which I'm pretty stoked about that. Can't wait to start farming up and collecting the pets. just about there just gonna let our defenses get the job done here and just keep tower boosting them and just a couple more baddies we do have uh, a little last minute ogre there and where is he coming from up from over here let's go and swap over to hero boost get him blasted and there we go. We got through um, our Ruthless. Let me see the gear drop. And we got a Hawk there, too. We got through our Ruthless Foundries and Forges. Oh, man. It's been so long since I played Foundries and Forges. It's uh, super, super awesome to be able to revisit these campaign maps. Um, as it bit, has been a good time. And it's going to be rewarding, too. Uh, as we're going to be getting increased loot. Now, this is not one that I'll farm. I think I'll be farming those um, maps up to Summit a little bit, and Summit quite a bit, for that baby dragon pet on survival mode. And then, uh, of course, that later tier in the campaign uh, for, like, the Summit is going to be infested quality loot. So, looking forward to getting the grind going on some of that. But that will do it for this episode. Thanks a ton for watching, and I will see you soon. Take it easy. Mm -hmm.